Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Uh, what do they want from you for Virgo? Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for April 2022. So we're going to take a look at, look at someone that's recently coming back into your life. Uh, we're going to see what this person wants from you and uh, what will happen if you, uh, you allow this person back into your life. Uh, apply this to your own unique situation. You can switch the roles if you want. Um, even though this is love focused, uh, you can apply this to anyone in your life. Um, keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Virgo, let's get started. Um, tell me about the person that was uh, recently coming back into Virgo's life. What does this person want from Virgo? What does this person want from Virgo for April 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords in the Reverse, Three of Cups in the Reverse, and the Strength card in the Reverse here. We have the Chariot in the Reverse, and then the Knight of Wands in the Reverse. Okay, um, so energies we have here so far, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Cancer. I don't know. I feel like this person is looking for a second chance, but, you know, at the same time, I feel like this person feels like they might be wasting your time. I mean, I feel like this person doesn't want to stress you out, okay? I feel like this person also knows that perhaps you want more with them. Uh, you don't want to be friends with them. You want more. But I feel like this person can't really give that. Or that this person is not ready to give up their single life here. It seems like they want another chance. Perhaps, you know, they want to put in some sort of effort here towards a friendship. But that's not exactly what you're looking for, Virgo, though. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Nine of Swords. Page of Swords. Okay, hold on one sec. And the King of Wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sag. You have the Page of Swords. Whoever this person is, this person's really not a great communicator. I feel like this person's going to come back, and I feel like this person doesn't really have a lot to say. And with the King of Wands in the reverse, you could be dealing with a very angry and narcissistic individual. This, I mean, this King of Wands, when it's in the reverse, uh, this, person's a, uh, this person's a complete asshole, okay? Tell me about the Three of Cups in the reverse here. Uh, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Three of Cups in the reverse. And then we have the Five of Cups, Strength card in the reverse. And then we have the Four of Swords. So the Five of Cups here and the Four of Swords. You know, I feel like clearly that I feel like this person perhaps feels bad, but I feel like this person's trying to not acknowledge it or disengage from it because I feel like what this person owes you is an apology, okay? But I just feel like this person is just really disconnected from themselves, okay? Whoever this is, I feel like this person could be in their head, in their mind a lot. Um, the chariot in the reverse. Okay, we have the Page of Wands in the reverse here, Aries, Leo, Sag. You might be dealing with the fire sign here, Virgo. Tell me about the Knight of Wands in the, rever in the reverse, in the Eight of Cups. I feel like this person is very in and out of your life. I feel like, uh, you know, each time, you know, this person maybe needs some attention or that they want to talk to someone, they always come to you, okay? And, you know... And, and then this person just eventually walks away. This person keeps doing that. So this could be you right here. This could be you just, you know, you've been through a lot with this individual or that you've been through a lot in life in general. And they just feel like perhaps you just don't have time for this. Um, you know, with the Page of Swords, I feel like 
from the time that you separated from this person, this person spies on you a lot. This person might be, you know, running around, you know, asking your mutual friends or mutual friends about you. They want to know things about you, whoever this is. Um, this is definitely someone here who's very, 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 very emotionally immature, very like in, uh, an emotionally stunted individual. Um, what will happen if a Virgo allowed this person back into their life? What will happen if Virgo allowed this person back into their life? What will happen if Virgo allowed this person back into their life? Okay, let's see. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. I feel like this, I feel like the same thing will continue. If this person had a hard time communicating with you, it's just going to continue. You have the world card in the reverse. I feel like things are not really going to move forward with this individual, but I feel like in a way this person does have some sort of unfinished business here with you. Yeah, I just feel like this person is going to be I feel like this person's just not really going to be clear about what they want with you. I mean, I feel like this person could be in love with you, okay? This person thinks about you a lot. This person misses you, but I feel like this person's not even going to say it. Uh, we have the High Priestess here and the Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. You know, I feel like this person might kind of play it cool, but I feel like this person's really holding a, a lot back from you, okay? Um, and then we have the Fool card, Aries Energy, Aquarius Energy, and the Four of Wands. You could be dealing with the Twin Flame here. You know, this could be you on a new path, you know, moving forward, or that this person could be trying to come back to start all over you, uh, all over with you again, and then perhaps eventually disappear again. This is not a very honest individual, I feel. Tell me about the Eight of Wands here. Why is the Eight of Wands in the reverse here? Why is the Eight of Wands in the reverse? Ten of Swords in the reverse, World in the reverse. The Judgment card almost jumped out. We have the Queen of Swords here. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords here. So this is you healing from this or that getting over this Ten of Swords energy that you had with this uh, masculine here, okay? Um, this is you, like I said, this is you having boundaries, okay? This is you perhaps being ice cold, icing this person out, all right? Tell me about the High Priestess. Well, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Perhaps deep down you know inside that this will never come together the way that you envisioned it. Tell me about the uh, Knight of Pentacles here. Oh, oh yeah, you see, I feel like this person does want a second chance. Yeah, we have Judgment here, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy, and then we have the Ten of Cups. I mean, this person does truly want this, but I feel like you're gonna ice this person out. Perhaps you're going to keep your mouth shut and not saying anything or say a lot, okay? Um, tell me about the Fool here. We have the King of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. This person, you know, I do feel like at some point this person is finally going to realize that, okay, you are the person for me. And I feel like this person might give it a shot. Um, so I feel like, you know, I feel like this is like a very on and off thing. And then I feel like that eventually this person is going to commit to you. Okay, so the King of Pentacles here. We have the King to the Queen of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. This person's going to give to this connection at some point in the future, but not right now. I feel like this person might be a bit confused. And I feel like this person has to be mean in order for you to not want to pursue a connection with them. So... So Virgo, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.